Good afternoon, wherever you are watching on across the world. Well, today we strike out west. It's the longest stage of the race, 236 kilometers along the north coast, ending in the capital city, Palermo, where another frantic bunch sprint is very much on the cards. As we head out from uh, Capo Dolando, on a coastal route before heading inland to take in a few climbs and towards a, a relatively straightforward approach to Palermo and big wide roads and a very fast finish. Well, these are the days that bike racers dread to some extent and also the guys who are bringing you the television pictures dread weather conditions like this. It does mean, as far as I can see at the moment, that the helicopter is grounded. Uh, that also has a knock-on effect as to how many cameras uh, we can get off the race. And at the moment, as you can see, there's just one camera with the breakaway, so we haven't got images yet of the the bunch and here we go first shots of uh, the peloton i think there's a peloton in there somewhere anyway there's some yep there's a few well there's certainly 20 riders or so oh there's a few more in the in the wheels it just goes to show this is where you want to be in the group up the road good vision further back in the peloton all nervous well they're working hard these riders to hold on to uh to that advantage. And now the coast is in sight. This is the north coast of Sicily. As the helicopter swings around and looks in a west, uh, towards a westerly direction, and in the distance, and still out of sight, the big, important, rather wonderful city of Palermo. The gap is tumbling down now to close to one minute as Gazprom Rusbello continue to apply the pressure on the front of the peloton. Yeah, they're really putting a lot of riders further back down the peloton under an awful lot of, you know, a lot of bother. 30 seconds now, 12 and a half K to go. It's, well, the, the balance is tipped a little bit more to uh, the front of the peloton here. Oh, and there we go. The car, the car yeah. is gone. <laughs> we just hope they look at each other and, oh, what do I do now? Finally, with sight now, this break. It's been a long time since they've been spotted and sighted by the front of the peloton just while well, they're in shot, just out of focus. Bardiani, there we go. Bardiani getting themselves organised. And the race leader has his team now working hard for him. Valetti in the orange jersey, the rider for Androni, second on the stage yesterday, looking to try and write that as rally start to move up on and the on outside. And on their wheels, Riccardo Stacchiotti, the race leader, has picked the orange jerseys of uh, Rally UHC. There he is, uh, using them as a lead out, as uh, Roberto Ferrari is right on the front now. And his designated sprinter, Milano, is uh, on his wheels. So those two have the very, very front of the race now. It's uh, Vidali on their wheel as well. So an all-Italian affair, Roberto Ferrari now. When's the big sprint going to come? Uh, as uh, he peels off then and finds that uh, Milano is a little bit exposed with everyone raging up. Stacchiotti's on his wheel now. Stacchiotti, uh, he's going to get on the wheel. Stacchiotti, can he get past the Colombian? As down the wheel comes Pilotti from Del Camote. Just checks there. And uh, he's furious with that. It's Pilotti now. Makes good on yesterday's second place and takes the win for Andrade Giocattoli. Second place becomes first place. It was chaotic. It was fast and furious. Yeah, I think he will uh, pick up enough time bonuses there to take the race lead. Well, the team have had confidence in him anyway. The last two days. Yeah. Honest about his own uh, misfiring. Yesterday's stage where he just mistimed his sprint. Getting it perfect today. Well, it'll go to count back, but uh, by my calculations, Ricardo Stacchiotti will hold on to the race lead courtesy of that second place. Those were the stage results. And that is the general classification as things stand. The first four places occupied by a bunch of sprinters. Christa Hagen uh, still riding high from his participation in yesterday's breakaway. And Colin Joyce edging himself up to the top ten as well. Two, uh, three riders, I should say, from today's breakaway, featuring in the shapes of Kron, Toniati, and Lukovic, and sixth, seventh, and eighth place. 